The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. If you're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information, I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, today's topic, new treatment options for people that are suffering with knee pain. My first guest is an expert on the topic, Dr. Valivas. Dr. Valivas, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Thanks for having uh, me. Now, before we get into today's topic, board-certified orthopedic surgeon. Yes. Uh, you're with uh, Desert Orthopedic Group. Uh, work with Eisenhower. Out of Rancho Mirage, okay. California. Yep. I treat hip and knee problems, and we like to do a comprehensive treatment plan for people with pains in their hips and their knees. Today we're going to be talking about knees mostly, but we offer non-surgical as well as surgical options for all of our patients. We're trying to get people to feel more comfortable talking to us that we're not just offering surgery, but a comprehensive treatment plan for your knee pain or your hip pain. This new partial knee, they, they say you're the technology guy. You're the uh, kind of pioneered or champion this uh, robotic surgery. Tell so me about Eisenhower that. Eisenhower brought in a robotic uh, technology for the partial knee. It's called the Mako Plasty by Mako Surgical. And it's just a new way to do things that's so much better. It's going to treat people at an earlier stage of disease, a much better result, a much more natural feeling knee in the end so that you don't have to be scared about getting that surgery done anymore. Okay, what are the estimates, by the way? Of, I mean, how many knee surgeries, full knee replacements? Right now, in the United States, we're doing about 600,000 total knee replacements a year. And very few percent is the partial knee. Certain surgeons, a lot of younger surgeons, people who like technology, are offering the partial knee. And some are even offering the robotic assisted with the GPS the Mako surgery. Now the people in the know, I understand, go to you for their knee surgery. I mean, you're one of three uh, centers that even there's, do this. There's, Is that three, correct? On the there's West three centers in Southern California and a fourth. So there's four centers in California, three in the Southern California area. And uh, so not everybody's adopting this early, but it is out there and available to you. Not everybody knows about it. But I've had people fly in from far away on their jet planes, bank presidents. They come in for this All technology right. when they hear about it and they know about it. So is this just for the active client? I mean, who, who's attracted to this partial knee? I, I guess it's a new partial knee. Well, the way we do it is new, but the, the partial knee's been around for a long time. Okay. 10, 20 years ago, the partial knee was almost dead. Less than 10% of knee replacements were done with the partial knee. But it's recently gone under a, a resurgence, and it's due to the way we're doing them. It's much more accurate now. Even the mechanical conventional way is better than it used to be. But we can take that one step further by offering the robotic assistance with the you say, surgery. You say things like a GPS uh, robot. I mean, I mean, is it really a guiding? Yeah, the we absolutely do. A computer, we hook that up to the patient. Uh, we get a three-dimensional CT scan of that patient, and we create a virtual image of that patient's knee so that no matter how small of an incision the surgeons make, I can see that knee in three dimensions circumferentially from any angle I want to. Uh, it's really a fantastic advance to be able to see everything on the computer screen. Is it true if you wanted to make a mistake, it would be very difficult? Very difficult. Really? This thing prevents mistakes. This is completely patient-specific mapping of that implant to this person's anatomy. We correct the deformity. We take minimal bone in its preparation. We disrupt the soft tissues absolutely minimally to get a perfect aligned knee every time. It feels so much better. The patients really notice the difference, and they tell me. Actually, I've had trouble with my knees, especially my right knee, for a couple of years. And I tried everything. I tried the arthritis drugs, I tried swimming, I tried the series of shots. And everybody kind of looked at me and said, Gene, when the time comes, you're going to know. And I did. The grandchildren would come down. I couldn't take them to the living desert. I couldn't swim anymore. So I talked to Dr. Volivas. He basically told me that he was only going to remove the damaged part of the knee, that the inner part of my knee and the kneecap were fine. So he would just work with the lateral side, which is where the damage was, remove that, resurface the bone, and then put in a small implant, which was probably a quarter of the size of what I had been anticipating. The walking I've really missed, and I am a swimmer. I've been a swimmer for years, and I had even quit swimming because I couldn't do the whip kick anymore, and even the flutter kick hurt. So I was already in the pool today. I was already swimming, and it's the first time I've been able to move my to move my knees without without that kind of pain. Okay, now you're an orthopedic surgeon. You know, anticipating this interview, asked around some people with pains. They said the last person I want to go to is an orthopedic surgeon for that. Evaluation. Right, and unfortunately, I mean, you are thinking that's, surgery, though. Well, it, I'm a surgeon, but people have that feeling out there in the public, and I want to try to change that theory because I'm a comprehensive orthopedic surgeon that offers a lot of other things besides surgery. For instance, physical therapy, 
injections, multiple kinds of injections, uh, heel wedges and, and shoe inserts, uh, all other things, non-prescription pain medications, heavy-duty pain medications. We want to keep people active, keep them going, because okay. if you stop being active, it's a vicious cycle. You know, you don't play that round of golf, you don't go for that walk, uh, your knee hurts, you can't sleep, you feel tired the next day, it's going to make you just feel down. It's going to make you gain weight. It's going to make your heart worse, uh, your muscle strength worse. So people worse. what? The biggest mistake people make is with their knees is what? They we do want them to come in and get an evaluation because they don't need to fear talking to someone. More information is better. You can go All to right. my website. You can learn about it. You can talk to your primary care physician. You can contact a surgeon. Okay, now help me understand. We've talked. You brought some models. Uh, help define total knee, partial knee, and then what you're doing with the this majority of people, especially men, wait too long. Okay. And their whole knee degenerates, and by the time it, they need surgery, they need a total knee replacement. And that's what we're doing for the majority of cases. We, the whole knee is degenerated. There's bone to bone contact, there's bones. So first, that's what's happening. There's the, pain everywhere. The bones are kind of rubbing right. together. They rub right. together, and it's painful, and it hurts. And so when you come to a total knee, we resurface the entire bone that would be covered with cartilage that's now no longer covered with cartilage. Okay. The way we do this is with a relatively large incision. Uh, we resurface the bone with cutting jigs and saw blades. We make it fairly accurate and it really does work. It takes away the patient's pain. Okay. I heard it doesn't feel very well. Well, the the way. Way. It, it does feel like good, but the downside is we can still do better than that. And but we it doesn't can make feel the, like their knees. It correct? doesn't feel like the knee all the time. Say. And and what we can do is we offer different things now than we used to in the past that makes them feel like a normal knee, like it feels natural once again. And so we have this partial knee. And where we want to do is we want to get people in earlier, at an earlier stage what of disease. What defines a partial knee, by the way? We're only going to resurface the diseased portion of the knee. We're not going to let that knee degenerate until the entire thing is a goner. Okay. That's years of disability, years of pain. If we get you in earlier, we can just do a smaller surgery. We can do it robotically, very precisely. But the old way, help me understand the difference between the old partial knee and, and, and the new partial right. knee. Right, so the old partial knee was done with mechanical alignment guides, a lot of surgeon eyesight and alignment things, and we do it by putting cutting blocks and making saw blade cuts. So the back side of the bone is cut multiple times with a saw. It requires a little bit of a large insert, larger incision. It doesn't fit exactly right every time. And this is how it's being done nationwide? Nationwide. For the most part. Okay, every yeah, day. Very okay. few centers are offering the next step. So now we add the MAKO surgery, which is robotic assisted with the GPS computer. We can precisely place this implant to correct the patient's deformity through a minimal incision. So it just fits better. It fits much more perfectly. Than the, than much the Much more precise than the standard partial. traditional way of doing it. And I've noticed a big difference in what my patients tell me. What do they say? They're recovering much more fast. They're in and out of the hospital rapidly. Minimal complications, minimal pain medications, and they're back to their activities a lot sooner. Now you've done uh, well over, and this is on the new computer guided, well over 150. 150 cases. Is it a big thus learning far. curve? There's a learning curve to it, as with any new technology, and I think that's why some of these surgeons aren't really interested in offering it because it takes a little bit of effort. I mean, there's only one guy in the world that has done more than you. Is that correct? Well, I don't want to say how many we've done, but I'm one of the biggest users in the okay. world of this technology, all right, all right. and I think that that shows that as you get more experience, you become better at it. All right. And so uh, that is a big part of what we offer at Eisenhower. Okay, so. Who's a candidate? Let's start there. Okay, so somebody watching this and they, they know who they are if they have knee pain. At what point do they need to get? You just evaluated? have to tell people. You don't have to wait to talk to somebody because if you come in to talk to your primary care doctor or to an orthopedic surgeon, you're not necessarily.